Welcome back to the Change Your Life podcast. My name is Dwight Gillespie. I want to thank you for tuning in today. Uh, if you don't know, uh, this is Change Your Life. And what we do here is we try to give you helpful suggestions on how to live a better life, how to, how to get things going and motivate yourself to do better. This is my book, Price Tags. I'll only mention it. It's, it's a memoir. Uh, go ahead and buy it. It's at Amazon.com. And we'll get right into it. If you haven't done so already, please uh, hit the subscribe Hit the, hit the notification bell so you know when we upload. We do upload uh, every Sunday morning uh, so you can start your week off right. And uh, hit that notifications, like I said, and go ahead and uh, share it with your friends. Comment down below. We answer all comments. This week, this week, which is actually the same week as last week because we do these back to back, right? We do three or four in a row. We are going to talk about commitment today. And, uh, you know, I, I love the idea of commitment because I used to only be committed to really bad things, it seems. I have a very obsessive compulsive uh, personality. If you've been watching this channel at all, you know that I've been in recovery. Uh, I'm I'm a recovering recovering addict. I belong to a particular 12-step program that deals with that. And um, obsession and compulsion are big components of my life. But that doesn't mean that I've always been committed to things. And I remember, you know, I I went to, it was a fat camp actually out in Utah, which it was really good, right? And uh, I got to, I got to, I forget the name and I got to look it up because I would plug them. They did, listen, they did wonders with me. Uh, I didn't follow up and that follow through is part of commitment. But I remember going to the gym out there and there was a sign there and I, I, I have it. I wrote it down. I, I get a little cheat sheet here. It says, commitment means staying loyal to what you said you would do long after the mood you set it in has left you. And just so you know, I did go online to, uh, to find, try to find who, you know, who originally said it. And there's like 18 people online. It was mine. So, you know, therefore I, I have no idea who really said it, but it's a great, it's a great statement. And commitment is important in everything that we do in life. This isn't just about going to a gym and, you know, you sign that, that paper. And I don't know how many gyms I, I, I've joined. I know how many I've quit, you know, like. <laughs> And, you know, I, I would, you go for a week and then it's, ah, the, the showers are disgusting. I don't want to go there anymore. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Fact is, you never really worked up a sweat anyway. But um, commitments work in, in, in a variety of ways. And, you know, uh, in, in 12-step programs, we have commitments, right? Um, and some commitments are like, you know, you can get there early, you make the coffee. Uh, there's something called a, a secretary in most meetings that, you know, reads the minutes of the meetings or you know, uh, greets people or whatever it is. You have a chairperson who, who kind of runs the meeting and everything like this. And, uh, and, and, you know, I work with a lot of young people and, and I say, well, you should, you should get this because we believe in, in, in any recovery program. It's, it's a prevalent belief that you have to give back what was so freely and lovingly given to you. Right. And, um, I have people that have taken commitments at meetings that I've been associated with and, and, you know, they're supposed to make the coffee and they don't show up and, you call them and say, hey, hey, uh, so-and-so, uh, where are you? Eh, well, I got home and I was kind of tired and I just didn't feel like going. I'm like, but you have a commitment. Uh, yeah, but I didn't feel like it. And I would tell people often, people get upset with me because they say, well, maybe you should look that word up in the dictionary. See, commitment doesn't mean that I'm going to do this if I'm not too tired, uh, if, I, if, you know, if I don't have something a little bit better to do that day. Like you're making a commitment to do something. It doesn't really matter what that commitment is, right? Commitment means discipline. It means that no matter what, you're going to do this thing. And I had a good friend and he told me, you know, I had what's called a home group, right? It's a meeting that I made every week. And uh, and I didn't go to it because I was going to go to this meeting. This guy asked me to be like a, a main speaker at his anniversary. Big, 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 you know, look, oh, listen to me. I'm going to talk, right? I'm going to do a talk. And and so I didn't go, and, and and this friend of mine said, well, where were you? And I said, why? Well, some people wanted me to hear me talk, you know? They want to hear me speak, you know? And he said, I don't care. You have a commitment here. You're supposed to be here, right? You, this is where you're supposed to be. Come what may, you made a commitment. Honor it. And it taught me valuable because he was right. I couldn't argue with him. When When you say you're committed to something, it means that no matter what, this is what you're going to do. And the way it works is, is, is that you don't let these things get in because there, there could be a lot of outside influences that come into you when you make these commitments to do things. I had some in recovery. Like I made a commitment, right? I don't use drugs no matter what. That's my commitment to me, right? I made that commitment to myself. I have family members. What, what do you mean? You can't have a glass of wine with dinner? Like that's not a drug. It's wine. Well, it is for me, you know, and, and it may just be a glass of wine to you, but for me, 
it's it's two eight balls of coke and a bundle of dope. You know, that's what that glass of wine becomes for me because I don't know when to stop. So I make a commitment. And if if, if I'm going to be around people who aren't going to honor that I have this commitment, then I don't go around those people anymore. They become what we call people, places, and things, right? And sometimes that can be family. And um, family for me became that in, in many instances, right? I, I The negativity, right? I don't need negative attitudes when I have commitments. I made a commitment to lose weight. So I don't stay around people who tell me, oh, come on, you can eat a little bit. Well, you can't, why can't you have, and I have a good friend, a good friend. So you, well, you can't have pasta? That's ridiculous. Well, I don't eat pasta. That's that's something that's on my list of foods I can't consume. Pasta, pizza, bread. I don't eat sugar. I don't eat flour. If you go into the last video that we just did, which was a pretty good one, um, you'll see like this is this is a program that I'm involved in and it's worked. I've lost 80 pounds on 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 this new way of eating and I've been doing it. I've lost 79 pounds and it's pretty incredible. And I've, I've been able to get in shape with this, right? Because I made a commitment to myself that this is what I'm going to do. I can't say I'm perfect with it, but I'm, it, it's pretty damn, it's pretty damn good because I know what happens when I go off of it, right? When I go off of my commitment, it leads me to do things that, that, that are not conducive to good health and, and, and good judgment, right? So I have to make these commitments to myself. I have to rely on myself to, 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 to stick to it. I made a commitment to myself on uh, August, August 10th of 2012 that I didn't want to use drugs anymore. I made that commitment to myself. And when I made that commitment, I meant it. I said, I don't want to use no matter what. And that commitment has been first and foremost. And it has meant that I've had to change the, the people I hang around with. I had to lose a lot of friends. Because these were all people that I used with, right? I, I had to, I had to change places that I went to, right? I'm not going into bars. I'm not going to strip clubs. I'm not going to these places that, that were very conducive to me using. And by using, that can be any, I mean, smoking, smoking weed, snorting, snorting coke, snorting dope, uh, drinking alcohol. Like I don't do these things and I don't knock it. You want to do it, then knock yourself out. For me, it, it doesn't lead to anything good. It, it leads to just really bad really dark places, mostly in my mind, right? And I do some really bad things and I hurt a lot of people that I love. So I make these commitments to myself. And in this process, I've been able to stay off of drugs since that time I'm coming up on 10 years now, which is a, a miracle in itself, right? And to, you know, it is today, today is nine years, 11 months and, and uh, nine days. And that is an absolute miracle. And um, I quit smoking cigarettes, a um, few months after I had quit the drugs, I, I, I stopped smoking cigarettes. I've been able to go on a diet. I've been able to monitor my spending and become more frugal. You know, I, and I do these things because I make these commitments to myself and I keep the little commitments. I make a commitment. I, I, I have commitments to these, to these recovery programs and I honor those commitments. And it's, it's given me more integrity. It's, it's, it's made me uh, a better human being to do these things and to understand the importance of it. I st I'm on time for things. That's another thing, too. I made that commitment because you know, I was always late. I didn't care. And, and, and it was pointed out to me that you don't, you're not on time for you. You're on time for the person you're meeting. If I tell somebody that I'm meeting them at 2 o'clock, well, they may, you know, and we're going to meet for 45 minutes. They may have something to do at 3 o'clock. So if I show up at 2.30, they don't have time for me. That's it. That's it. They got to go. They have to go. They got something else to do, right? So I make these commitments. And being committed is very important, you know? You see, look, the fact of the matter is, is we really don't have to do anything in life. You are only as good as your word. Uh, there's a great, a great quote from the Big Bang Theory that I always loved. And the, the truth is you don't have to do anything, right? And it was uh, Sheldon Cooper on the Big Bang Theory, who was one of my favorite characters on TV. He said, we have to take in nourishment, expel waste, and take in enough oxygen to keep ourselves from dying. Everything else is optional. And isn't that the truth? Like you don't have to do anything. We do things because they either make us feel better or make us make us sound better. Or I want to do things that make me better, that make me a better human being, that make me a better neighbor, a better citizen, a better brother, a better father, a better. Well, you know, my children have passed, but anyway. Um, but they make me a better human being. They make me a better member of the human race.
And that's why I keep these commitments and honor them. Because I want to, I want to do better. I want to be better. I want to live a better life. And to me, living a better life, a big component of that is making these commitments to myself, following them through and feeling that at the end of that, right? And, and, and this is the, 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 the pain of discipline, right? The pain, the pain of discipline pays off when I'm able to go on these beautiful walks out in Cal, like I go to California a lot. Encinitas is one of my favorite places. And I go through these wonderful hikes along the coast, right? And I'll just walk up and down the coast for miles. And I'm able to do that because I have this discipline and these commitments that I have to myself. I'm, I'm able to better enjoy my life and do the things I really want to be doing. I no longer delude myself by saying, well, I don't really have to do anything. And I'm content to just sit here like a lump on the couch and do absolutely nothing with my life. I'm able to get, that, get out there and enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, by the way, go ahead and subscribe, share it with your friends, hit that notification bell. And by the way, have a wonderful week. I really appreciate you tuning in. And we'll be back here next time with another great podcast on how to change your life. Tune in again. Thank you very much. Be well. Bye now.